Today is a review of the four types of sentences. The first type of sentence is a declarative sentence. Can you tell me what a declarative sentence does? If you answer that a declarative sentence makes a simple statement, then you're correct. Good job. The reason we need to know what the four types of sentences are is that when we're writing, we have to know what punctuation to use at the end of our sentences. So if we know that a declarative sentence makes a simple statement, what punctuation do we use at the end of this sentence? If you answered a period, you're correct. Nice. Next type of sentence is an interrogative sentence. What does an interrogative sentence do? If you answered that interrogative sentence asks a question, then you're correct. Nice job. And if we know that an interrogative sentence asks a question, then what punctuation would we use at the end of one of these sentences? And if you answered a question mark, then you're correct. We think interrogative, that can be kind of a tricky word, just think interrogation. When the police bring a suspect into the police station and they interrogate the suspect, what are they doing? Well, they're trying to get information, and the way they get that information is they ask a lot of questions. So an interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks a question. Another type of sentence is an exclamatory sentence. Try to figure out what an exclamatory sentence does. If you answered that an exclamatory sentence expresses strong emotion, then you got this one right too. Excellent. Now we need to figure out how do we end an exclamatory sentence? What punctuation do we use? If you answered that an exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation point, then you're correct. So far, so good. All right, so far we've learned about uh, declarative sentences, interrogative sentences, and exclamatory sentences. Uh, which one do we have left? Which one have we not covered? All right, good. If you answered imperative, then you got this one correct as well. An imperative sentence... Well, I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm going to ask you to give me the answer right now. What does an imperative sentence do? That's right. An imperative sentence gives a command. Or another way of thinking about it is someone tells someone to do something. These are sentences that your parents love to use all the time. I'll give you some examples. You ever have, you ever have your parents say this to you? Do your homework. Or how about this? Take out the garbage. Right? It's really important we keep that house of yours clean. Right? So these are imperative sentences, and they tell someone to do something. First one is asking someone, probably you, to do your homework. And the second one is asking you to take out the garbage. The question now is, what punctuation do we use at the end of an imperative sentence? As you can see from the examples, we can end an imperative sentence with a period. But there's another punctuation that we could use at the end of an imperative sentence. Take a guess what that might be. That's right. An imperative sentence can end with either a period or an exclamation point. Let me show you. Let's say your mom or dad asks you to do your homework. And instead of doing your homework productively, you've been watching TV, and the homework's just been kind of sitting there, and your mom and dad notice. So this time, instead of just saying to do your homework, they do your homework. They're expressing that with strong emotion. And because they do, we would end that sentence with an exclamation point. It's still an imperative sentence. The reason why is because someone is telling someone to do something. In this case, your mom or dad telling you to do your homework. Let's say your mom or dad asked you to take out the garbage an hour ago, and you've been fooling around with your brothers or sisters, and you haven't taken the garbage out, and you can smell it in the kitchen. The whole kitchen is stinking up because the garbage is sitting there that you were supposed to take out an hour ago. Now your parents don't tell you to take out the garbage. They express it with strong emotion. Take out the garbage! Yeah, we'd end that sentence with an exclamation point because it expresses strong emotion. But that sentence is an imperative sentence because it tells someone to do something. In this case, you have to take out the garbage. So just remember that. This is the only thing that can be really tricky with sentences, is that an imperative sentence can end with either a period or an exclamation point. Remember, it gives a command. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.